Hello, everybody! Welcome back for another installment of Lethal RPG War. So, last time we started out and we killed us some lightning mushrooms and some weird ass skeleton things over in this area right here. Now, we are going to complete the quest by coming over here to Deep Wood and kicking the ass of some more skeletons. Battle! Okay, so we got a mage, we got some sort of like foot soldier guy with a shield, and we got fucking that guy. So, thoughts? I think we're gonna stun the middle guy. We're gonna go straight for the fucking mage, because you just know that guy is gonna have some damage on him. Like, I, it's what mages do. Okay. Yeah, he's got some damage on him. Fucking skull. I always. Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god! The sun worked! Holy shit! Did you guys see that? Oh my god, he's stunned! Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! Oh my god, and it only took. Way too goddamn long. Oh boy. Alright, is he down? Is he down? We got the mage! Haha! <laughs> How's that for a boner? Alright. Uh, next up, is he unstunned? He's unstunned. Let's stun him again. <laughs> oh man, I'm the worst. I'm just, I'm a terrible, awful human being. Right. We're gonna shoot an arrow into a bone for some reason. This guy is really fucking slow. What's his name? Alistair? Yeah. Moody. Mad-Eye. This is Mad-Eye. Mad-Eye. You dick suck. You, sir, suck. You shoot the arrow! You take the axe to the face! You bite the guy! You stabity stab! So, so far, here's what I'm getting from this game. It's very, uh, it's very traditional, if you will. I don't, I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way, either. Oh, we know what gonna do. Okay, good. I actually hadn't considered that. What happens if the enemy dies? He just transfers to the That's good. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this is a very traditional feeling RPG. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, normally I'm not a huge fan of this kind of ragdoll animation, which is kind of the best term I can come up with. Oh, level up. Uh, but it kind of works here. You have successfully defeated the remaining undead in this camp. All the undead camps in the noble woods have been cleared. Oh yeah. Quest completed. Got a resurrection vial. Okay. And a smoke bomb. Smoke bomb! So I think I might have yanked <laughs> one of the cables attached to my mic. So enjoy that! <laughs> Alright, uh, let's take a look here. How do I get into my characters again? Is it here? No, this is hero management. I want... party? Party management, okay. So we got some upgradable shit going on here. Uh, what do we want to upgrade? Oh, you know what? First, let's do skills. Because I think it said something about new skills being available. Let's take a look at these. Shock what Ooh. An AoE. Nice. Nice. He's a nice. Hmm. I feel like that's maybe not super... Oh, you know what? Let Hang on a second. What if... 
defense is 56. His defense is 61. Her defense is 15. So his defense isn't even that good. Okay. Well, you know what? If he's gonna insist on having these abilities, I guess we should probably, like, you know, upgrade some stuff here. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute! Oh, this all makes sense now! So this is craftable stuff. So we need victim's armor. Oh my god, it's a bloody tunic. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. No, I can't upgrade that just yet. The longbow's upgradable though. Let's do that. Uh, upgrade that a bit. Yeah! All right. So... Uh, do we have to... Do we have to turn it in? Is that the deal here? Oh, god damn it! What? Why would you go that? God damn it. Damn you. Alright. Let's take on the lightning mushrooms. Let's see how this does. 20... 20 mana, so... Oh, what is this? Focus shot. Ooh, nice! You know what, seeing his, his stun never works. Let's try that. Let's just give it a shot. We're gonna give some of this new stuff a shot. Oh, damn! That is some sexy damage on that. Ooh! Yeah! Oh, this is nice! I'm liking this! Alright. Apparently neither of those are gonna work, so we're just gonna go back to focusing on the rat. Take that, you dirty rat! You dirty rat! Stabity, bitey, and it's his turn. Yeah! Hmm! But take that! Moving on to the next one. Do it! Just do it! I'm doing a lot of yelling today. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of yelling. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Okay, we're gonna focus on this guy this turn, because he's stunned. I do kind of appreciate the trees. Like, I get that they're actually kind of lazy. <laughs> um, but something about them, it fits with the rest of it. This whole game is just kind of cutesy. The only, the only like, art aspect of this game that I haven't liked so far is that her face is fucking weird. Oh, lightning. Shroom lightning. But like, her face and something about her tit- I, I don't know. Like, the female character looks a little weird. Maybe it's just- maybe it's just the art style. Like, maybe I just need to see the others? I, I don't know. I haven't seen another- oh, was that a- was that a thing? I don't think it was a thing. We did complete our quest, though. Ooh, there's a little flag! What's the flag? Apparently nothing. Well, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn in our side quest. Plant Knowledge Tome. Is it a gardening book? Ten turns do more. Okay. Classic Garment Archer. Interesting. Alright. That's kinda neat. The alchemist discovers that the mushrooms have been cursed by something familiar to what is affecting dark wood. This whole this forbidden arcane magic will likely continue to spread throughout the kingdom if we do not find the source. He tells you to be careful. A more powerful sorcerer could have done this. Alright. You head out east where some powerful mushrooms have been cut. <laughs> where some powerful mushrooms have been causing the trouble. <laughs> HAIL THE POWERFUL MUSHROOMS! OH HAIL THE POWERFUL MUSHROOMS! Ah. Oh man! <laughs> Good work out there! The noble woods is now free of undead for the time being! There's something else that does not make sense to me. 
How did they so easily breach the noble wood's defenses, the most fortified zone in the kingdom? We believe they had help from the all-powerful Mushroom King! The undead began allying themselves with various evil men and creatures. It has become, it has come to our attention that a bandit leader known as, only as Darktooth may be responsible. How he knows so much about our defenses is unknown, but he must be stopped. Will bandits do anything for money? Perhaps it's more than just money that led this bandit to betray his kind. Perhaps Darktooth was once a knight of the realm, which may explain his knowledge of our defenses. And that could help us find out his true identity. The party decides to head to Marintown and find Grandmaster Harold. Harold coordinates all knight operations in the kingdom of Lokia. He would likely know if any knight had left the order over troublesome circumstances. Alrighty then. So we're heading over to Marintown. Seri okay, seriously, where where are the all-powerful mushrooms? I want to go see these fucking all-powerful mushrooms. Is this them over here? I think they're the blue. We're gonna go. <laughs> we are going on a quest to defeat the all-powerful mushrooms. Oh no, I saw them. They're over there. God damn it! We went the wrong goddamn. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Alright. Albino rat, you die first. I do like to open up with that. And. That's AoE, by the way. And. That, those are AoEs. That's, that's the noise that AoEs make. I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware or not. Little known fact. All the AoEs make that noise. This is poison. Oh, for Christ's sake. Ah! I've been poisoned and struck by lightning. God damn it. Okay. So, let's start with this. Potion health potion on uh, lethal and I suppose we should probably kill the rat because they seem to be poisoning us lightning is a pretty serious issue too but personally I prefer lightning to poison god damn it oh what the heck I I hate you so much Alistair why why do you even exist why are you even here? What? I hate you so much. So much! God damn it, Alistair. Why do you bother? God damn it. Oh, now you're poisoned. Way to go, Alistair. You know what? You are just an immense disappointment to us all. You don't deserve the name. Mad-Eye would be extremely disappointed in you, son. Oh man. I haven't watched Harry po the Harry Potter movies in like... a month. Oh man, I gotta go back and watch the Harry Potter movies! Damn! Oh man, David Tennant. Oh, he was so good! So good! watching a lot of Doctor Who lately too. Oh, David Tennant is so great. <laughs> Alright, so I get the sense we probably don't want to go over there. So we're going to go over this way. I think this is going to be our last battle for this episode. Alright, yeah. This is going to be our last battle. I think so. Alright, first things first. See that little rat right there? We're going to fucking kill it! Dick, keep poisoning my shit. Stop fucking poisoning people, rat. Don't make me do the you dirty rat line again. That's fucking stupid. Ah, you're bleeding and stunned. Fuck you, rat. 
I'm gonna kill you anyway. Tactically makes no sense, seeing as you're incapacitated and dying. I'm gonna fucking do it. That's right, I just wasted a ton of damage. All because I wanted fuck your shit. Alright, now we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna do something that at least kinda makes sense. Ugh, I gotta say, the game does get a little repetitive. Um, I feel like it suffers from a lack of enemies, maybe? Not that the not that the lightning mushrooms are bad. I'm a fan of the lightning mushrooms. However, that being said, they are a little bit short on uh, on other enemies so far. I, from what I understand, there's going to be orcs later on, which I mean, typical of a fantasy RPG. But that's really only an assumption I'm making from the dialogue at the beginning when he talked about orcish wars, I mean it's entirely possible we could never see an orc in this entire game. Which would kinda suck, honestly. What's a fantasy RPG without orcs? Oh, level up! Hey, we leveled twice this time! Nice! Alright, right here, we are gonna stop right here. So, next time, we are going to take on the all-powerful Mushrooms! <laughs> Stick around!